Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian. For those of you who have not watched my previous videos, please do like, comment and subscribe if you have watched any other videos and just let the people know what you're learning on this channel, okay? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And today, as you would have seen from the title of the video, I want to talk about, um, I have it on my phone here, I want to talk about how do you know that God is calling you? So there is a scripture, many are called, but a few are chosen. But I don't want to dive into that right now. But before I actually break it down to you, I just like to take a moment to pray so that you understand this word very well and very well. So dear Heavenly Father, Father, I thank you for using me as a vessel to speak to your people, to bring your people back into your saving grace. Father, Father, I thank you, Father, that as I continue to talk about how the people will know that you are calling them, I thank you that I will deliver a message that is coming directly from you. Father, I believe it in my heart and I know, Father, that you are with me and you are actually here delivering the content with me. In the name of Jesus, use me as your vessel. I open myself up. Touch the heart of the person who shall receive this message. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right, now that we've prayed, let us get into the video. Uh, how do you know God is calling you? Uh, with this one, I'm just also going to be a little personal about it. In the beginning, I'm just going to share a personal story for me in terms of how I knew God has called me for a greater purpose. So in previous videos, I've explained all the things that have happened to me in my life that have tried to take my life, that have tried to kill me. Like I've been in so many situations where it was a near death type of situation and um, God always took me out of those situations. And when I sat back and reflected, I knew that there was a call upon my life. There was a purpose that God wanted me to fulfill. Hence why my life is still intact today. I'm alive and I'm delivering a message to you. All right. So um, how do you know that you are called? Going back to the scripture, many are called, but a few are chosen the part or the number or the magnitude of those that are called is, is is big so god calls i think most of us all of us actually are called but those that heed to the call those that answer to god are the ones that are actually called um god will call everyone but those that answer are the ones that are called they are the ones that acknowledge the call let me put it that way because everybody else that doesn't take the call means they, they didn't acknowledge the call that's how you know that you're called uh but then being chosen takes it to a whole different level but today let's keep it at a basic level and stay at the call stage um so when you are right now experiencing certain things in your life and you feel like and you know in your spirit that you need god god is calling you god is trying to have a relationship with you because god wants to have a relationship with every single one of us it's now time for you to heed to the call answer to god when you answer you acknowledge that god is calling you and you will take his call so that is the first thing that I would say is a sign of you knowing whether you're cool. The second thing is you have a talent, you have a skill, you have some sort of something in you that God has imparted in you to use for his glory and for his kingdom. Um, if you decide, you know what, I want to use my gift, I want to use my um, skill to the glory of God, you're heeding to the call. And that means you're called, you're making yourself available to God for God to use you 
whether you believe you're capable of doing certain things they look too big for you or whatever the fact that you've acknowledged that you are going to do this because god has said you're going to do it you've already uh acknowledged that you are called and that what makes you a called person your acknowledgement to being called um the next other thing that will help you establish whether you are called is how god keeps visiting you some of you don't actually realize when god visits you but there are times where you having sleepless nights you're having things that are you know disturbing your spirit but at that time you don't think of them as things that are disturbing your spirit because you are still stuck in whatever fleshly way of thinking so when you are tossing and turning in the night and there's something that you need you are needing to do and because you're not doing it your spirit is not settled then you know there's some sort of special gift there that you are needing to yield to and serve in and operate in so i just wanted to then give you some sort of guidance in terms of how do now that i know that i'm cold um or there are signs i'm having sleepless nights um god is basically nagging me uh, there's this voice that keeps taking me back to God or that keeps telling me, come, come, my child. Um, I have the desire, the willingness to go to God and serve God. You Now that you know you're called, how do you answer this call? Because it's very important that now that I've acknowledged that my, my cell phone is ringing, I decide whether I answer my phone or not. That is the same thing with God. Now that my spirit is ringing, do I answer to my spirit? Um, so how do I how do I answer? Uh, for me, the first thing or the first point of contact is to say yes, Lord. If you have to go and pray and ask God to guide you in terms of how to do or what you need to act on, do that. But the first point of call is the bible because the bible is the manual of life you know when you buy a fridge a microwave whatever you buy uh it comes with a manual because the manufacturer knows exactly how that thing needs to operate the same thing with our lives when god created us he created a manual for our lives which is the bible and if you want to know how to operate a lot of the answers are sitting in the bible yes now that you know that you have the call of God, how do you answer? I've already dealt with the first part of it. The second part of it would be to yield yourself, like give yourself fully to God. It's sometimes difficult. I remember when I had to fast for the first time after, <laughs> after not, not having fasted for like years and years. Um, it was a so tough i wanted to give up but i knew in my spirit i'm like god i need to do this uh, i know that it is by your strength by your power that i'm able to do this i'm yielding myself to you i'm answering to your call if it means my flesh must die so my spirit can arise and live here i am lord take me use me and make me what you want me to be use me as your vessel a god in the world I represent you father and yeah that was the second thing of how I answered or um, answered to the call on my life from God the third thing was I stopped doubting that it was God that was calling me because I felt like I was delusional it's just it's just happened in my thoughts and I know a lot of people are actually sitting uh there in my position thinking that i'm delusional man it's just my thoughts this is nothing major and all that stuff but i just want to let you know if that thing is urge is is is, is, is like an urge and it's bothering you and it's nagging you most likely than not it is not your thoughts god is trying to communicate with you and he wants you to answer 
he wants you to hear him and now god also will not force himself upon you he's very patient with you he will continue pursuing you until you completely piss him off i don't know if you can completely piss off god but uh until maybe you disown him and he spits you out you know but it is very important that when you do receive the call of god you respond to it promptly even uh because i can tell you now and i want to encourage you now that once you receive the call of god and once you answer to the call of god things in your life start working out things in your life are now coming together like i was so surprised uh, i was actually so surprised to see how my life has changed from when i was living in the world to how i'm living now uh certain opportunities that i wouldn't have thought that i would get they're just coming my way most of them i don't even have to work hard for them but why is that it's because god said take care of my business and i'll take care of yours now that i'm taking care of the business of the lord the lord is taking care of my business and fully so and i see my lighting is actually getting darker because it's getting darker outside as well but i just want to encourage you if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling like your life is not coming together, go back to God. Go back to God because God is about to give you an answer. God is about to make your life easier. God is about to change your situation. Whatever circumstance that looks like, it is a dire situation. God does not look at the severity of your situation. Take your eyes off your situation. Take your eyes off your depression. And I am a, I'm gonna tell you a story about my depression that I experienced at some point. Let me not even personalize this. It's not my depression. The depression that I experienced at some point and God had to take me from that depression. And I'll share it to one of the videos where I share uh, my suicide story um, <laughs> and yeah um, let me not keep you any longer do stay tuned for the next coming videos like I said I'll be sharing so much of my life so you guys can understand the grace of God and how God loves you and how God can bring you out of any any situation I love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in uh, do like subscribe comment share and you know do the right thing um don't forget to also invite your other friends to come watch these videos i love you guys so much cheers